Okay, let's go ahead and do our monthly check for Play Studios updates. Wait a second, there's a new Play Studios game? And it's not my Vegas? What is this? It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just want to give a quick thank you to all of our Patreon members that help keep the channel growing. More on that later. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So I got a couple requests to review the new Kingdom Boss game. It's a hero RPG. Looks like it's uh, completely different from what Play Studios normally does. So as you guys know, Play Studios Incorporated, they're the company that makes the My Vegas series of games, including My Vegas Blackjack, My Vegas Slots, Pop Slots, and My Konami Slots. So pretty much every game that they've made to date has been, well, basically based in Vegas and has been a way to earn loyalty points here. So what everyone's wondering is, is this non-Vegas game a way to get extra loyalty points that gives you something else to do? So I figured I'd go ahead and check it on out. Okay, let's go over to install this thing over here and then um, see what it's about. In the meantime, I'm going to check out some reviews while this installs. Here's a good one from Chris Wallace. Stuck on the part where it's telling me I can equip a runic weapon. I had already equipped one before the tutorial portion of it, and now it freezes every time I go into it. I cannot go into anything else in the game because of this. Enjoy the game up until this. Now I can't proceed or do anything else. Might as well uninstall. Now here's a two-star review over here. This game crashes so hard. Clicking on claim, and then 10 minutes later you hear the claim go through while you're doing something completely different. It took 15 minutes to join a guild, and then after that everything freezes. Can't even get into the guild, the hourglass keeps freezing. Another game that refuses to test in-house and relies on the players to test their product. It was a shame because the game was fun for about a day. Alright, here's one from Cassandra Parker. While I will say this game has great potential, it's still pretty laggy, which for a newer game I can understand working through some bugs. What I really don't like is getting 1 star heroes through summoning, it should be 3 stars and up and how long we have to save crystals for. That should really be fixed. Also it takes a long time to get enough XP to level heroes without paying. I'm all for packs, but I shouldn't have to buy to level heroes. Oh, we finally found a 4 star review over here. So far it's fun, but it lacks in visuals. Graphics, more detailed designs for characters, maybe some partial effects in areas. Smiley face, that's interesting. I've played 13 years of mobile hero collectors, trust me, I'm a huge fan of them, and I have spent 5k-ish. Gosh, you'd probably be on top of the world in Vegas uh, using the My Vegas apps. And finally, a 5-star review from Taco King. The colors, controls, the dialogue, awesome, it's pretty sweet, you can reset the characters and get back the gems and money you put into them. Alright, so you guys might be wondering why I'm playing an RPG game, even if it is a Play Studios game. Well, it's because I did get a request from a couple of our friends. We got Chong from the My Vegas Gifts Guides and Giveaways group, and of course one of our consistent contributors on the channel, Tamar Briley, was wondering about it when he hit me up on Instagram, just to see if this was an option to get more loyalty points. So I figure, can't let the homies down, let's go check this thing out. Okay, so looking at the aesthetic right away, it looks like it kind of fits into the My Vegas universe a little bit. Um, like it could be a spin-off of Excalibur or something, but it's probably not. It's probably not. Oh, here's an interesting thing here, so maybe there is something to it. Player Awards over here. I wonder if that's somehow related to My Vegas loyalty points. Let's go ahead and add our My Vegas account and find out. Look, has returned. Thought to have been cleansed a millennium ago, this unnatural force has quickly spread across the Kingdom of Dominus, corrupting everything it touches. Only the flame of creation could counter the light and its ruinous effects, but the power of the flame is waning. The world balances on the edge of chaos. Dominus is under siege. A call has gone out for new heroes. Who will answer that call? Okay, so this must be the tutorial level. Alright, let's go ahead and play on through. Looks like we're playing as Samson over here and something strange is going on. Well, let's get to the castle at once. And there's a voice off in the distance. It must be the heroine of the story. I can tell because of the large hair and incorrect proportions here. A Knight of the Empire. Okay. Alright, so... What am I doing? Okay, so it looks like this is a card game here, so I press on the cards, 
and they get abilities. Neat. Nope, don't have enough power. There we go, now I can do it again. So I guess I just have to wait until I get that. Whisper, okay, that must be the heroine of the story. And we're gonna team up. All right. Nice, easier than hurting nerfs. Let's see how many loyalty points we get from this. Do we get loyalty points from this? Alright, so we got 25 golds over here. I wonder if those gems have anything to do with anything. Defenders have high defense. Wow. Who'd have guessed? Okay, so we'll play a few battles of this and see what the interface is like. Let's go! Alright. Alright, so that's easy enough. And it looks like they just kind of attack until you get enough points to do a super move. Then we move on. Is it away from me, foul creatures? Alright, Galen must be our, uh... <laughs> Dwarf looks like he's in trouble. He must be the mentor character. Let's see how we do here. There we go, that did some damage. Alright, that's kinda neat. So I guess Galen's joining the team now. Alright, so we got more rewards over here. And these are gold coins, but I'm not sure if they're loyalty points or not. They look like just regular gold that you'd spend in a video game like this. This looks like pretty standard gold for an RPG game. Ah, uh, so he's probably a healer or something like that. Yep, healing magic. There it is. So we have our tank, we have our DPS, and then we have our heals. So, won't worry about the trash mobs. They're fine. And you're on rails here, it seems. Huh. Big target there. I wonder if I can focus my attack on that. Nope, doesn't seem like I can. Alright, gonna have to heal our boy over here. Gotta heal the tank. You always gotta heal the tank here. Oh. Yeah, that definitely can't be good. Oh, there's a whole bunch of random things to collect over here. This makes me terribly uncomfortable. Upgrade our heroes here. So games like this always love to do little upgrades, and they have a lot of resources to collect, and this is almost instantly a show that it's going to be like a uh, super pay-to-win game over here. Oh, there's the castle that we want to go to. That looks dangerous. Tactics that we've learned. We didn't learn any tactics. It's just you block, she attacks, he heals. Just tap the card when somebody's doing something. Alright, so I'm gonna have to heal him pretty much right away. Alright, so I can push him back with the deeps. There we go. He's about ready to go here. Let's go ahead and heal up Samson. And then we'll do a little bit of DPS on the big golem over here. Should get him farther away. A little bit of crowd control. I need one more heal. And then the last DPS burst should do it. And that's it, I guess. Mm, yep, never stood a chance. Happens in tutorials. Okay, so this is a whole magical story over here that we're going through. This is fascinating. I'd really like to get out of the story mode so I can see what I can do. Ah, there it is. So now we're at whatever main menu it is. Okay, so we took the castle, and now we get to do whatever we want. So it wants me to summon some no heroes here. And it's going to cost me one of these gems, whatever that is. Wow, 
Wow, okay. So we'll take we'll go back to the castle here. And then we'll get our treasures here. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got ten diamonds here. Okay, so gems can be used to summon heroes at the hero portal. Okay, so these can't be exchanged for loyalty points, it seems. And then it wants me to make my guys stronger over here for whatever reason. Okay. Auto-equip stuff. Cool. Alright. And then it's got more quests. Oh. And I got a hundred gold over here. What does that do? Okay. Ah, it's gonna force me through the campaign again. Alright. Another DPS, long range though. I should probably explain some of these terms over here. So basically there are three different types of characters. So there's a tank, that's a more defensive character. Those usually go up front and absorb damage. Then you have a DPS, these are offensively focused characters. They usually go up front or in back, but their job is only to do damage. And then you have a healer whose job is to heal. And that's how that works. Okay. Oh, it's an area of effect attack, so instead of doing a single target, I can just destroy them all in mass. Impressive. Okay, now that we've slogged through the tutorial over here, I think it's worth checking out a couple of things. So, looks like the interface is pretty basic for an AFK sort of hero collector game. Basically, it's an idol collector game, and if you guys don't know what an idol collector game is, it's a game about managing resources, time, and little gems and things like that to make your team more powerful and let you advance through the story. But usually, a lot of those things are set behind a time limiter or a timer to force you to either buy perks or to spend more time in the game, whichever comes first. But I think it's worth taking a look at these things, see if there's anything in here that we could possibly exchange for loyalty points and make this worth it. So, gems can be used to summon heroes at portals. Those aren't loyalty points. Experience points raises a player's level. Spirit Essence is used to level heroes. Gold is used to upgrade heroes and upgrade buildings. And, okay, what are these? Loyalty points! What? Earn loyalty points by playing and redeem them for real world. Oh my gosh, you guys, we can get loyalty points on this game. We can for real. Oh my gosh, I don't know how how we get the loyalty points though or how many we get at a time. Um, rewards. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it looks like you can collect loyalty points by completing daily and weekly quests by summoning heroes from the portal and by collecting from your treasury. Okay, so we have 1.4 million. So we have. Let me go ahead and just write this down. So we have 1,486,203 loyalty points right now. So why don't we see about some of our daily and weekly quests and see what we can collect from our treasury? So we collect from the treasury. It looks like it's 10 LPs every hour that we get. Interesting. You get 90 per minute and 55 of these. So we get those. That's pretty intense. Okay, so collecting didn't really do much for us this time. How about we summon some heroes from the portal? Alright, so we can summon for exactly 300 gems over here. So, I think we should go ahead and put these gems to good use. Let's summon. Oh, we got an undead striker over here. Sweet. Okay, cool. Let's go back to the castle. Alright, don't forget to claim rewards from the treasury when it's maxed out. Let's hope by notifying you, sure. Put a no notification on. Okay, so it looks like we got 10 loyalty points by summoning a hero from the portal. So that's interesting. And then we'll check out the daily and weekly quests as well. So the quest log, I summon a hero from the portal. I claim that. And it went up, so I got some 
So I have to ch collect from the treasury two times, it looks like. Battle on a campaign stage and challenge a campaign boss. Okay, let's go back. Alright, this is pretty wild. Let's check the rewards again. Okay, so that was worth 30 loyalty points going through and finishing a quest. That's really interesting. Alright guys, so this game actually might be worth playing. Let's go ahead and play through a little bit more of it. Maybe we'll go ahead and do a little upgrade to one of our heroes here. I think we should level up. Yeah, we gotta level up our striker over here. Gear her up a little bit. I don't have any gear for her. So we'll just level her up. Make her a little bit stronger. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna play back to the end of the boss battle, and then let's, uh, let's wreck it. Ah, uh, see, there goes one of those crashes they were telling me about. Alright, let's see if it relaunches. Okay, we're back from the crash. Let's go ahead and get into the campaign mode. Hey, look at that. I have challenged a campaign boss, apparently. So that goes into my loyalty points now. Yep, another 30 loyalty points. So you seem to get 10 to 30 loyalty points just depending on what you do. So based on that, you probably have to do 100 actions to get any substantial amount of loyalty points. So that's interesting. And there's Crash 2 of the session. We're only 40 minutes into playing this game, and it's already crashed twice. I'm determined to finish this campaign. There are only three more battles to go. Let's do this. Alright, and this might be it. This is going to be the end of it. Let's just go ahead and spam our strongest guys and beat this thing up. Oh, whoa, this looks like a real boss battle over here. Let's go. Alright. Just have to focus DPS on one of them. Probably that one to the right. We just get rid of the adds. 
and then we can start wrecking the main guy here. And then we'll focus his damage over here. And yeah, okay. And that was all of them, apparently. And of course, it's going to be that one character I put all that effort into. Okay, cool. And we summoned five heroes at the portal. That's one for the weekly. And more loyalty points. Awesome. More points and more points. For more summons. Let's check the rewards again. Hey, look at that. We're up like 400 loyalty points. That's pretty great. And then that was even more quests done. Nice. So now that we've done all that... I don't want the starter pack because they just want my money. Let's check our rewards. And that was worth another 50 loyalty points. So yeah, that's quite a few LPs. Okay, once more, let's have a look at the rewards, see what we got. Huh, interesting. Pepper Mill Reno Stay. Bowling Snacks. Triple Wonders. Let's check out Vegas here, because that's our specific area. Okay, and that's once again yet another crash over here. Okay, I think we're done for the day. Well, Spinners and Sharks, it looks like Kingdom Boss is in fact legit. If you're looking for an interactive way to earn loyalty points without playing slots, it might be an alternative game for you. Check it out for yourself and let me know what you think. Alright, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's gameplay and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a quick moment to shout out our patrons. Guys, it means the world to me that you're choosing to support me in this way and help keep Ace of Vegas independent of the YouTube algorithm. My content isn't always censor and advertiser friendly, so it goes a long way in keeping the channel running. If you'd like a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, check out the Patreon link in the description box down below. But in the meantime, what do you think of Kingdom Boss? Is it an interesting new way to earn my Vegas loyalty points? Or would you prefer Play Studios gets back in their lane and starts casino gaming again? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Viva, viva, it's a big guy.